Hello again, everyone. I'm Nesbitt, you're the people of Skyrim. Okay, let's get in game. Okay, so since the last stream, folks, I've um, made some corrections to the TPSC file. I've added new files. Uh, hello, Nut. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, there's a lot going on. I've started a new game. I've added a lot of new files. Um, we've got some... I've just got to go and sleep um, because of my eye needs. I've sorted out eye needs. I've got my heads around. Eye I've got my head around eye needs a bit more. Not eye needs. Sorry, I'm being dumb. Let me just go through my mod. What I'm on about here. Sunhelm. Sorry. Okay. Um, I've got my head around Sunhelm a bit more. Um, we've also got wounds loaded up. Lots of other mods as well. Okay. And we've also got some world editing mods loaded up now including jk's exterior i thought i'd give that a go i just need to sleep quickly and i need to get some food and some water uh for sunhelm and then we can carry on and i'll show you all that i've been getting up to in the last few days i have started a new game i had to i did some small corrections to tpsc2 ae the tpos2 ae file that i'm running now is not the one that's out there but i'll update very soon i've made some corrections um so, well, I've moved some content, some of my content, to another area, cleared cells, cleared some cells for some other mods, but we'll get to that in a sec, right? <coughs> now, I did reload. Um... Or I did load up the way of the Nords. I was looking at other authors' mods, and there's a couple that are okay. I didn't want to use JKs, um, so for White Run, for now, I'm using the way of the Nords. Welcome. I uh, removed. <laughs> Think I got a clean I removed my um, White Run exterior mod, and I loaded up JKs exterior. Um, I have been exploring lighting options for the inns. Oh. And as you can see, the inns look very different now. I haven't got any other mods loaded up for the inns yet. But I have got my EMB preset set in suns. And I'm, I've got luminosity loaded up. And there's a nice... Um, I think it's quite nice. Uh, we'll go from there. I mean, it will change as time goes on, I'm sure. But that's what's happening in the inns right now. And in interior lighting is okay. I enjoy this work well enough. But I'm ready what have you got for sale? I've been thinking of okay. selling... Thanks, Oh, I see you're starting a new load order. Right, yeah. Okay, let's just get um, some food. How much my weight? Okay. Cooked beef. Let's just. I've got bread, I think. Let's just get some meat meals. We'll have some goat's cheese, honey nut, leg of roast, meat pie. What else? Sweet roll. That should be more than enough. I'm looking for water now, really. She can do that, though. Now, my water's filled up at the moment. That's good. You just find that lying around? Must be your lucky day. Of course. Okay. That's Need anything else? Just let me know. That's good. So, yeah, so I was quite pleased with the effect, actually, folks. Um, because this is just what luminosity in my EMB preset set in suns. I have, made, I have made some small edits to the EMB preset. I'll go on about that in a minute. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. I'll show you to your room right this way. Just go and have a sleep. And I might use some more of JK's interiors because some of them are quite nice. But for now, <coughs> we'll come to the interiors when I finish the exterior build. I'm going to sleep just for 24 hours. So I come back through to early morning. I'll have a good rest, and I'd better have a meal, I suppose, and then um, Sunhelm should be uh, content for a while. Um, I have edited a couple of Sunhelm's um, stats. I've uh, allowed myself to fast travel, and I've taken off the conditions on the arrows so I can carry my um, bow. Okay. <coughs>
But yeah, for a very simple setup, actually, the shadowing and the light is quite Let nice. Else it's just like I say, luminosity and the EMB preset set in suns. And I got a little bit dark. Let's lighten it up. Let's, I don't want it to be too. There's my drunk there in the background. You can see. I'll go down just by one. So it's just a little bit brighter. That's quite nice, actually. I don't know how it affected in other interiors. This is but an we'll old save that. Staunch protectors, the Imperials. And I've got Skyrim's drunk loaded up. So you'll have about five or six <laughs> drunk people traveling around Three Skyrim to from inn to inn. Today's come and gone. You can get some night. Oh, that's nice. Oh. So I am exploring my lighting effects all Damn, over again, folks. Because um, what time of day is it? Okay. Storm cloaks, get what's those lanterns are giving off quite a bit of light. Realistic or too much? That's the question. Thanks, Nut. But, um, you know, you do have lux in that on console. I mean, I know there's limitations with the engine and, and whatever. But um, I have seen some, some nice interior shots. Um, screenshots from some people um, yeah not as good as PC but still pretty impressive I thought okay so the time of day is 605 actually I needed food didn't I oh that was silly and I needed water oh let's just go I'm sure I forgot to have my meal I'm just gonna go back and have my meal folks to save me using up my independent resources. there's another drunk he comes to white run as well <laughs> brilliant okay so that's good to see all that working I'm just going to have a meal from this woman again, I guess. We got warm food, warm drink, I'm in a good sleep, so... You want to hear a I enjoy this work thing? well enough, what have but you I'm got ready to retire. Oh, I've been thinking, yeah. let's yeah, yeah. sate that appetite, hmm? Okay, um... What do I want? What am I doing? I need a meal. Because that should quench my thirst as well, of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh, I'm still parched. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, items. Let's go down and um, have some water. Let's... I'll tell you what. I'm just going to have all those. And Anything I should be else? nice... Right. Just let me know. What can I get you? Can you fill my water skins bottles? Of course. Of Okay, so so you can see with the mod pack so far, folks. I've been building up. Um, I think I've got some mugs need scrubbing. The ter in terms of gameplay, I mean immersive gameplay. I'll go and have a wash in a stream in a minute because um, we've got Jay Spears mods loaded in as well. Um, we've got Power of Three here, splashes of storms in many of his mods as well, including runes. Um, so I did load up, like I say, the Way of the Nord because I do like it. And besides JKs, there aren't many others that I like for White Run. Um, so we'll stick with that for now. We're now going to head to Riverwood Grove and up to the Guardian Stones and on to Helgen because again, uh, I want to test out um, the over Shout Overhaul mod and many other things now. And I need to test out the mods we've got now. Um, I'll just go down to. Let me just think. Let's just run and check out JK's. Let's just move forward an hour. Just so there's a bit more light. Dyndulod 3 Alpha. Ethereal Clouds. The Set and Suns EMB preset. And I have made some adjustments for the Set and Suns preset for the TPS 2 AE mod pack. And I'm probably going to make some more by the end of it as well. Hero Let's just go forward so you can see, so we get some sun and day. Ah, there we go, okay. So I thought I'd try JK's exteriors because it interested me. And um, it's, <laughs> I was running around it, and besides a few touches, I mean these touches here, like I was thinking, Christ, it has the same sort of feeling as my white one exterior mod, in in the sense of um, the placement of, of fortifications here. I mean, I guess it's all logical, really, but it just... Besides, like I say, his unique touches which he's put in, the bridge, even the bridge at the, the other end of the um, uh, outskirts and, and that whole area is, well, just feels a bit like my white one outskirts exterior, which is quite nice. It all fits in nicely. It's not too much. We've got a nice sunrise here. Look, folks, look at that. That's the EMB preset set in the suns, okay? That is looking really nice. And I think it goes in nicely with white rum. 
Um, I'm looking at Immersive Citizens and I'm thinking about it. It hasn't been updated for a long time. It does make me wonder. Um, I'll do some tests and if I think it's... Um, I know there's some patches for JKs in Immersive Citizens. So that's why I thought I'd bang in JKs around White Run and some of the other places. Um, the other mods that I've loaded up, I might still have to log in actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've... Um, mods. We're, right, okay. I have got... All right. So what we're going to do is, folks, I'm just going to show you the mods I've loaded in in the last 48 hours, all right? So you know what I'm doing, what I've got going on here. Um, let's just save just in case of any just in case really, I suppose we'll bring up the menu we'll come out I'm gonna bring over to your screen my download history okay so I've got the way of the Nords and I've loaded up more for ages I want to see how that runs that's my mod of course we've got JK's rifting outskirts as well we've got cities of the north oh no I didn't load that sorry because I f oh, I hope I didn't because I, I decided to go with more Thor. I didn't load it because I wanted to try the models, um, but there wasn't much else. So I've, I've left that, actually. I don't know if that's going to be compatible with this. I'll check it out at a later date. We have got Cities of the North of Folkreath, because I really like that. And I think that's a nice mod. And it's well made, in my opinion. Obviously, JK's White Run Outskirts. Um, I've already noticed some pathing issues with the guards. They bounce off of his... Um, um, oh his bridge near the water fort and his mod is below tpus 2 ae in the load order so i've given it priority amber guard is below tpus 2 in the load order these are above all right tpus 2 because i don't do the areas i tried stone hills my bandit camp conflicts with it so i need to either patch or think about this one and we got this one as well by this author as well okay um i haven't added this yet this was another option i'm thinking about I've loaded the actor limit, um, luminosity as I said, um, I looked at that, decided against it, and we've got the Great City of Winterhold, which we're going to check in a minute, because I've never ever seen in-game the Great City of Win Winterhold. We've got uh, Wartman's uh, 94's Skyhaven Temple reworked, I'm going to I'm going to fast travel to that in a bit, I want to check that out and see if that's worth keeping. All these mods I've also checked in Xedit as well. So I've loaded up the survival control panel for um, Sunhelm as well, okay? We've got the Storm Crown, a shout overhaul by Simon, all right? Dual casting power three, loaded that up very recently. I did try Mythical Ages, didn't really like it, and Dominant, or whatever it's called, didn't like that. Added this, added this. I think I added that. I definitely added that. We're using Rifting Guild, City of Thieves, Skyrim Drunk, which is my mod. I've updated to the current version of the unofficial patch, which is important. If you're on PC, you need to do it. The other is obsolete, apparently. That's Arthmore. Won't go into that right now. Um, I haven't loaded that. I looked at it, and of course, my work there. So that's basically what I've loaded up. There's a bit more, actually. I think there's a few more mods. I've loaded up. No, that's pretty much it in terms of the mods that I'm testing right now, okay? Again, if you like the streams, hit that like button, share the streams, talk you know, talk about my work and share it if you like it. I'd appreciate it. Doesn't matter what other people say. If they don't like it, that's fine. Right, okay, I'm just going to have a great wet this throat of mine. And um, we're going to check out the rest of this area. Then we're going to go to Winterhold, right? But I'm going to go to Riverwood first because I want to pick up some... I want to pick up the CERN and I want to pick up my, my bow and arrow. Oh, and one more other thing as well. Hmm. I changed up my grass mod back to um, Vrembrosium or whatever it's called, all right? And it's the, 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 the frames per second are, are dealing with it all much better. But I have increased the grass rate, so there's more grass. So we will see, you know, so the grass is still relatively heavy, but nothing like um, the other grass mod I was running. Okay. Supplies. See Bellator at the store. Okay. What time of day is it? Yeah, okay. 
what am I doing here? Yeah, I just want to check down through here and then we'll um, head towards... Uh, yeah, the guard for here was bouncing off here. So any, you know, out of all the mods that I use with this mod pack, okay, I'll make patches for any um, discrepancies that I find and I see like I did for TPOSC. Okay. All right, so that feels all okay. And um, I just want to go through there. We're going to go up to Riverwood now and get some bits and bobs. Actually, I'm just going to... Sorry, I'm just going to do one quick check, folks. I just need to go to... All right. Back in game. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff going on. Um... I've got all my potions loaded up for wounds. I've picked up all my potions. Like I say, I started a new game. Um, the lighting as well is, is quite nice. I quite like the lighting that's going on in the interior and exterior worlds. And um, we'll, we'll get to Riverwood Grove. I just want to check that again. Um, I made some nav mesh corrections. Um... As I said, for the TPS tooth A file as well. Small corrections near the Horseman Inn. So I can say all these updates and changes will come come soon. Thanks, Nut. I appreciate uh, your positivity. I mean, what I'm trying to do again with this EMB and again like with the TPSC mod pack, folks, is create a nice looking game within within the parameters of a 360 graphics card, all right? And the hardware that I'm running. Um but try to make it user friendly in terms of frames per second. So you've got enough frames per second. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Oh. oh, there's my follower. <laughs> I decided to pick up the mage up because she's hardcore and I get, I'm get, i getting battered so easily because I'm not cheating at all, folks, all right? Just so you know. Uh, the only thing I'm cheating is, is the fact that I've got some potions and some cheap weapons, all right? But I'm actually going to turn to something. Oh, here we go. This was it. Yeah, here we go. I want to check this out. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I just had an off... L I don't know if you're back, folks. I, oh. I've just stopped a second, folks, because it just said that, that I was offline. I hope that I'm back now and, and you've got a connection. Let's try this... Um, dragon shield. I'm not quite sure where th what this is from. <laughs> I thought that was quite interesting. I don't know where I, where that's come from, that, that shield's come from. Whether I've loaded it up as an indiv individual shield and just forgot. But, um, yeah. And I picked up a, a sword or two as well from some of my shops. So, I'm well geared up. And I did... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, for me, it's really important that, you know, I need to be able to get around and not play for hours on end. I've got my frames on as well, folks, because I just want to... I'm in stream, so I accept the frames are going to be a little bit... Hit a little bit harder. Um, but as long as they don't drop and hold, if they fluctuate, that's fine. Look at this. To me, this looks really sharp. I'm just stopping and staying still. So you get a sense of what I'm looking at, because it just looks so nice. Um, of course, when you're streaming, you do get a lot of blurring. Um... I will look at my OBS settings again and see if I can improve the quality of the stream. I'm going to pick up my bow as well, so... I'll just walk along here, because it, it is really quite nice. Um, what am I doing? That's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And I'll just go into, I think, first player, you know, um, first person view. Um, so yeah, I want to check out Riverwood Grove, the performance there, up to the Guardian Stones, then we'll check out Winterhold, because I want to look at, uh, Soldier, Soldier of War's mod, okay? Oh, I need to eat and drink again soon. Let's just have a little snack now. Let's go with some... That helps, that just keeps me going. Let's bring up my sword, actually. Do that. 
I hope so. I hope so, not, you know. But this looks really good, folks. This looks very, very nice. I love the color and the saturation. Um, I'm enjoying the grass, the road textures, the rocks, the trees, the Matthews trees. And of course, my, my um, world editing mod, Riverwood Grove. So I'll just build up the pace a little bit here. Then we'll walk through. We'll go up to Helgen as well, just to get the main quest going. All right, because I want to do that as well. I like it, Nat. But again, I'm biased, of course. But I just think for what I'm trying to do, yeah, with, with my mod pack and, you know, and my mods in the future quests as well, I want a certain look and feel for the game. Keep an eye on those frames per second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stop a second. I just want to take in the view and turn around and see if the frames drop. They don't, so that's nice. Okay, so um, we'll have a look at Riverwood in a minute. We're just going to have a look at this area. Check the frames down here because this is the cell where there's a lot going on. I am thirsty. I'm thirsty again. I'm always going to be thirsty. God, man. Okay. Oh, I can fill... Oh, hold on. What was that? Fill bottles. Let's go to the river. Can I do that? What's this fill... Oh, it is. I can fill bottles. Excellent. I just filled... My thirst is quite... Oh, okay. Okay, that's good then. All right. Let's try that again. Okay, so that's a Sunhelm, folks. I'm just going to have a wash now, just to show you um, other mods that I've got loaded up. So I'm looking for wash and rinse. Let's go where I can stand. Let's go somewhere. That's about right, I suppose. <coughs> there we go. Oh, a little bit under the water there, so getting the hair. Oh, that's good. <laughs> So that's Jay Spearer's work, of course, in mod. And a good, good rinse off. I like that. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Um, I think I've got plenty of food and water. Let's just double check. Because I don't want to get caught out here. I've got a bottle of water, so I can always get some. And I've got three skins. Okay, so we can move on then. We just check out a bit more of Riverwood Grove, just to show you it a little bit more. Okay, it's all about industry. Okay, look at that um, ledger there. So much better than the uh, <laughs> the Skyrim um, vanilla. I can't remember the author, but it's very nice. Very nice work that. Right. So my sleep is good, my food is good, and my eat my my you know got everything I need. Let's just go. In. No, I don't think I need anything right now. Actually, I will just see if he's. Let's just go. I'm just going to go into the Riverwood Trader, see what that looks what like, well, and go into Riverwood. Um, oh, that's no. nice. See, that's nice. No adventures, no Considering it's only no my E and B and luminosity, that is well, really what are you nice. Going to do then, huh? 
Let's well, I don't know what you overheard, but what have you got the for Riverwood sale? Trader is still open. Take a look. Glass? What's that? All right, okay. Let's just go. Keep an eye on my weight there. We'll have those clean bandages because they're always going to be useful. I need a lock pick. Medical alcohol, needle and thread. I didn't have that, so that's good. So that was worth coming in here for. So is that. That could be useful. Okay. Damn thieves. As if things weren't bad. Yeah, enough. that does look nice, folks. Um considering what I've got loaded up, I I think that's pretty good. I think that looks pretty damn good. Anyway, there you go. That's me. Okay, so we'll have that. We'll wear that. Okay, so that considering this is this interior folks is lit by my E and B preset setting suns and I luminosity. Camilla, and that's it. Luminosity and that is it. Uh, and I think that's Yeah, 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 no, I like that as well, yeah. It's good. Okay. Oh, that's it. I need to pick up the CERN. Oh, I need to pick up the, um, oh, my bloody chat box is scrolling. I wish it would stop it. Let's see if I can stop that a minute. Ah, that's done it. Okay, good. Let's pick up the um, ride, my ride from here. Not sure how anyone is supposed to get this book. Doesn't quite make sense to me, but there you go. I've got a jump, a cheat jump, you know. Gets me in and out. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, because I edited it, didn't I? Because I, th yeah, okay, all right. I remember now why that's there. Okay, magic. Yeah. Oh, if I, yeah, I'll have that as well. And that. Just go through these a minute. I want that too. Not really bothered about that. That's all right. And that. Okay, so let's just um. No, let's run up to the guardian stones because uh, guardian stones because I know I'm going to get some shit in a minute. Let's put on some helmet protection just in case of. Um, Again, the EMB grass collision there. And as you can see, I've got a lot more grass loaded up now, folks. So, um, yeah. I want that. That imp is around here somewhere. I want to get him before he gets me. Can't see him. Oh, he's over there. All right. I'm going to let him come to me. He's coming to me. Let him do the work. I'm just going to... Right, there's my mage. Now I can move. Oh, now I can move. She's probably gonna. She's taking him out. She's horrendous. <laughs> she's such, such a bruiser that. Uh, is that as fast? Oh, that's that's better. I just thought that was as fast as I could run for a minute. Wolves. Just heard wolves. Watch out for those.
So I love the coloration. Like I say, I think it's looking quite good, folks. Um, like I say, I hope you can see it well and, and you can see what I see because um, it looks really nice. I'm really pleased with the, the small adjustments I made in the EMB preset. Um, so, yeah, the frames are holding well. They look good. Might lose. I generally lose a few frames around here and up by Helgen, going up to Helgen sometimes, but nothing major. But this is holding well. This is nice to see. Okay, so I get my bow, and I've also removed the the arrow weight, okay? So I got rid of that as well. There we go. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay, I was about to say there's a wolf, but that's hers. Let's go... Okay. All right. It looks a bit naff with the backpack, doesn't it? Do I need the backpack? No, I can get away with it. Okay, that's good then. Let's just save there then. We're up to Helgen. And then I think I've got to be strategic in terms of... Um, I've got to be strategic in planning my days. So I'm going to have to go back to Riverwood and I think heal before I... I and then we'll go out and on the next day when, I, when I've slept in Et. And um, oh, it's a bit heavy there. It feels heavy there. Few, uh, well, it's fluctuating. It felt a little bit heavy there. What's round here? I ain't got anything round here. That ain't too bad, I suppose. But I do like the colour. Coloration and the way everything looks. Very vibrant. It's good. Off to Helgen. Okay. Yeah, I am. Um, I can't remember that who the author is. Um, bloody good author. Oh, I can't remember who's made it. Um, but he changes the meshes up on all the um, quivers. So, or you know that you're on about what holds the arrows. Yeah, yeah. They're all they're all been done, redone. The meshes are really good. I can't remember. It's a real unusual name. Um, yes, bingo. I think that is. Well done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish I could remember some of these mod authors' names. I really could, you know. Um, I've got brain like a sieve in my pronunciation is shit. Anyway. Um, as, as a per? As a per? Or as slop? Or per? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> so you just, I'm old, man. That's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nice mod. Are you on PC? I can't remember. I can't remember if you... No, you're on Xbox, aren't you? I think you said so. Okay, right. While I think about it, folks, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'll just advance this quest. Oh. Elzupa. Elzu... Ezo... Ezopa? Elzupa? Yeah, you're on Xbox. Okay, thanks, mate. I'll try. <laughs> I'm just going to save here, folks, because I want to check out, right, the textures and parallax meshes that I have for Skyhaven Temple. So I've saved. We're going to come back to this save, but I'm just going to go COC. And then we'll go to Winterhold very soon. Skyhaven Temple. That's it. I think that's it. So, okay, mate. All right. Right, let's just... Get out of the way, you stupid woman. Okay, let's have a look at this, because if this isn't any good, I'll be changing back to what I had. I could really do with some light here, actually, to see what's going on. The wall looks good. Let's have a look at that wall. I'm not sure. He must have done the wall. It looks a bit more dimensional, doesn't it? That does look good. 
The, that's good. Those pillars are nice. The stonework's okay. Okay. All right. Actually, I think I can live with that. That doesn't look too bad, does it? We'll, we'll have to see it when it's all lit up as well. So, um, okay. Okay. We're just going to um, inform the residents about what's going on. Have I... Let me... I did just read that journal. What's it saying? I found a... Investigate the cave. Read the journal. Or warn the residents. Right, okay. It does look nice. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I think Skyhaven Temple looks okay. That looked good. So, we're now going to go to Winterhold. I want to check out Soldier of War's Winterhold. I'm itching to get there, folks. So, here, off we go. Um... I can sleep there as well, so we just forward the quest, all right? Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already truly. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the darling my brother. I'll bring on a torch so you can see the how a torch affects the darker areas. There you go. That's really nice. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. Okay. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your So you'll see it was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe. Let me it's think. Let's fast travel to White Run to get to and then we'll go over to Win um, Winterhold, right? Let's check out Soldier of Wars um Overhaul of Winterhold. Now I haven't been there, folks. I've got nothing in the area. Um oh look at this. Let's just look at this a minute. It's nice. Oh. Let's bring up a torch. Yeah, here we go. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Here we go. Winterhold. Woohoo! Well, I've wanted to use this mod for so long, folks, but I was tied up with TPSC. Just, you know, I've wanted to, to try out this mod for so long. But again, this is the EMB preset set in suns, okay? And the interiors, we're using luminosity. Nice and um, so far, we've got some wonderful effects with just two very simple setups. So, shadow as well, not just, you know, so... Okay, it's not as expansive as Lux or something like that, but still very nice. <clears throat> And a little bit more per performance friendly. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go through. Oh, we are almost there. Let's just do an hour. Because we might get a nice summer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is TPOS. T the, the TPOS Setting Suns EMB preset at its best, in my opinion. I'm biased. I created it. I know. But. And I'm using Pictor meshes, meshes as well, folks. Okay. Um, for the skyline. So it blends in more naturally and evenly. We'll just look at the lods for Winterhold. Let's draw back. Let's look at this. Lovely. Absolutely fucking spiffing. Now that is what I'm talking about. That's the EMB preset set in Suns, folks. And, and this, like I say, you know, there will be some small touches yet. But that is not bad. I love the red of the water. And I love what I'm seeing there. So that's a TPS. Um, set in suns sorry I say TPOS because it's my work but the TPOS series and it has been designed for the TPOS mod pack sorry the TPOS mod pack and for the coming TPOS questing version in the future so um, you know yeah and it's been made with these um, again a, a fancy, dark fantasy look sort of feel that's why the interiors I like them a little bit darker because uh the quest will be a, a dark theme. So, yeah, that is really kicking, man. That's good. Right, let's check out this wonderful work by Soldier of War. I've got nothing in this area, folks, so, so it should be good. So, we're also using a Project Defuse file, which really helps with the snow on walkways and stuff like that. It looks like it's had got fresh snow 
um, falling upon it. The only downside is that you do get a little bit more stretching on some of the textures, depending. But I have got the no stretch mod, um, so that helps as well. But I think it's worth it compared to those painted walkways, all right? So I need to find an inn anyway. What's this? The frozen hearth. Oh, let's have a look. Hey, <laughs> here we go. This is, I'm, uh, oh, this is great. Oh, yeah. Now, remember, I'm just running um, luminosity and my EMB preset set in suns. And I think the lighting and some of the shadow is pretty good for just two mods. Yeah, the, the EMB preset and luminosity, they seem to blend really well together. I don't know what you think, um, but I don't think it's too bad at all. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. Okay. All right. If you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. Let's just I'd sleep. Like because I need to look after my sure needs. Thing. It's yours for a day. It's yours for a day. Let's see what he's got for what sale. What have you got for sale? Take a look. I'll have a meal after I slept. That makes sense. I will take that and that. I'll show you to your room. Thank you. Right this way. Okay, where's where is the room? I don't even know where the room is. is it downstairs or upstairs? My college along behind me. I think but they're I upstairs. Stay close by. No, they're downstairs, bugger me, I think. <clears throat> Where's he going? Oh, is it somewhere else? Oh, it's somewhere else altogether. Alright. Where am I going? Why am I following the wrong guy? Oh no, there he goes, okay. Oh, it is upstairs. Okay. <laughs> it's an adventure. I love playing new mods. When they're good, that is. When they're well made. When they're good mods. I can't stand crappy mods. Right, okay. Let's sleep for 24 hours. Yeah, let's do 24 hours because we'll come back another day and we can see everything. And I can have a meal and that suits my... Sunhelm needs for um, a few hours at least, folks, all right? And uh, I see a couple more people joined. Nice to see you, whoever you are. You want to make a comment, feel free. You want to make suggestions. If you look at the little blue tab in the in the chat box, um, if you open it up, you know, I, I, I'm i open to suggestions for the mod pack if there's <coughs> mods you like to see. What have I got here? Let's do a Sanima there, then. I think I should work on my light armor so I've got some more protection. Because I'm getting kicked really hard already. Okay, that's good then. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yep. If there's anything you need, just let me Can know. Can you serve me a meal? Of course. Good. All right, I'm dehydrated, so I'll go in and I'll have my skins. Where am I going? I'm going there. I'll make sure I'm well hydrated, because I can now right. just top them up straight away. If you business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from. Of course. Okay, that's good. All right, folks, so I should be see good ya. to go. Why am I still yellow on the... I want green. Let's just see what... Because I'm still learning about um, Sunhelm, of course. I have enabled fast travel for it, folks, okay? It's just... Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. I'll have to investigate that. That yellow. Um, if anyone knows, please let me know, yeah? Okay, right. So, let's have a look at this. Um, there's a little... I think a little bit of nav mesh where it needs here. Just by the way that my follower reacted there. That's one of the reasons I take my follower. It's because within the all-in-one patch, folks, I'll, I'll, I'll make all those tiny little adjustments. Because it just finishes off the mob pack in a real good way, you know? Um... Um, winter hold is above TPOC in the load order because I've got nothing in this area, so there should be nothing affecting it, especially the interiors. So let's have a look around for a minute. Everybody seems to be pathing well. There doesn't seem to be any anomalies of yet. I How do I get to the college? If it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? How do I get to the college? Not that I need to go to the college, but... Oh, this is the back end. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, dear, I better have a drink. Yep, 
like. Let's just fest investigate the textures and the snow and his touches. Just like to be aware of them all at all levels. Okay. Frames are holding well, considering I'm a free camming in quite a large area and streaming, so that's pretty... I'm impressed with that. That's a good test, folks. That tells you something about a mod. If you can free cam in a stream and you get no issues, you can tell it's pretty well made. Or it's well made, I should say. But I'll hold off judgment for now. Because one thing I am going to do, folks, um, as well, as I build this mod pack, every mod that I use, I check in X-Edit, and I make sure that, um, of its compat compatibility with TPOS2, all right? And the rest of the mod pack. Now, where are we going? How do I get to... Um, where is the college? It's, oh, there it is. Huh. It's all so different. It's um, taken me a while to get my head around it. All right. Cross the bridge at your own... The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. Okay. You shall not gain entry. I don't think I've got my settlement, my gully settlement here. All right, then. Quite sure... No, I haven't. Uh, have I? Oh, I have. Oh, I have. Oh, I did leave it in. All right, okay. Let's go down to my gully settlement. I haven't seen any... In What's going on here? Oh, hold on. Oh, no, that is... I did... Yeah, I was really confused there. Now, that's that's not... I did... Re I removed my gully from TPS 2, yeah? But I th when I saw that ship, I thought for a brief second, I hadn't. But, of course, I have... And this is um, Soldier of War stuff, so that was a bit confusing. Now, this is what, what I mean about the, the TPSC mod pack has got this, folks, and so will the TPS2 mod pack. Check out these walkways. It's like you've got fresh fallen snow on them. And that's far better than that painted crap that we normally get. So this is a nice little touch and something that I found when I made my mod pack, all right? Um, I don't think, you know... So, and, I, and I mix up a particular project defuse file with uh fusher's um more um 22x parallax mod pack but it's not the one it's not it's not a uh, fusher's or fusher's um um project defuse file that you can get it's another one and it works even better so yeah and she's she's caught up so that's good so the path in around this area is good I don't think I've got any problems from what I've seen so far. I do want to get back to the road. And I'm going to check the road. We'll run along the road because I've got um, some other author's mods we can look at. <coughs> Very nice. Okay. I'll take my helmet off now. And I'll show you some of the things that I've moved in TPS2, folks, okay? So um, we can use other authors' mods, because I've made some ad adaptations as well. And again, if we find a fresh stream, I can fill up my water bottles and stuff like that and take a drink. So we'll do that in a minute, maybe, when we find some fresh running water streams. Don't think you can do it with the sea. You shouldn't be able to, anyway. Lovely. Okay. My chat box has just moved. I'm just going to scroll that back down. And go in game. But so far, so good. We haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. No anomalies, just a small, tiny little bit of nav mesh here and there um, that needs alterator. Just small little tiny uh, adjustments. Um, and everything seems to be working. What's this? Hold on. I'm about to... I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Okay. Ulfric has the right of it. He can go that way, but I'm surprised he's going that way. So I think I will check the nav mesh here and the mod that I'm using down the way here. Because technically, he shouldn't be pathing towards Winterhold. 
to get to Windhelm. He should be pathing, you know, towards Windhelm. So he's going in the wrong direction. So that tells me something there, folks. So, when, you know, I'm going to be looking at this area with this author's mod. Um, I can't remember the mod author's name. And check, I'll check the nav mesh around here, any collisions, stuff like that. Make sure it's not crossing over with TPSC any, in any negative way. What I had here, folks, was um, I had my farmhouse here, but I moved it and I've added it next to the inn, the Dark Elf Inn that heads up towards the Shrine of Azura. Okay, so we'll go up and see that. And you know the mod author. Okay, um, has he come up actually? Let's 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 bring up this author's. Um, I can't say this author's name. I don't know how to pronounce his name properly. So. But I'm, anyone who knows his work will know this this author anyway. So I'll just... There you go. Okay, so we got that. So we're going to go up to my um, Dark Elf Inn. And I'll show you. I moved my settlement that was here. The stable outpost. Because I had a stable outpost here. And I moved it up, um, up to here. Up this uh, path here. And I cleared all the cells for that mod. Um, and I did that for Xbox users. Now I haven't I haven't updated for um, TPS 2AE yet on PC, so you can't actually run that mod on on PC yet, okay? Because I haven't updated the file. I've got to update the installer with other other stuff as well. So I'll do that all in one go. So currently at the moment, I am running an altered file of TPS 2 for PC users. So you need to know that, all right? Just why I'm, I'm making these changes and um, getting my head around everything. And the updates will be forthcoming soon, all right? Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Up here. God damn, what am I doing? And again, even these rocks look don't look as crappy as they normally do. Okay? With the Project Defuse file that I have, that I selected for this mod pack. TPRC has the same as well. It looks really good. But it's the only drawback, as I said, is a tiny bit of stretching. You get a bit more stretching on some textures. Noticeably, the farmhouse textures that I'm using. Oh, look at that moon. Oh, look at that, man. This, And I must admit, I really like this stream, folks. It's looking really good all around. You know, just everything. There's a nice depth of field as well to the EMB preset. The lods look good. Um, here's, here's the guy in the stables. I moved into here, all right? Okay, so if I bring up the map marker, it should be, yeah, stable outpost. And you've got Tanner's Rest, which is a Dark Elf Inn for, obviously, the travellers that travel to Azura. To the shrine to make a pilgrimage, stuff like that. That's a backstory in the questing version later on. And again, this is lovely. For just a luminosity in TPSC, it's really nice. Uh, sorry, the Set in Sun's EMB preset, it's nice. Okay, let's just... Uh, Where's the, where's the guy where I can, where is he? Oh, he's probably doing his inventory, is he? Is he sleeping? Oh, he's sleeping. What then a bum. What you need? Mm. Let's have a full meal. And uh, just to keep me going. Of course. I am well fed. And let's, I'm All right. Okay, I seem all right at the moment, but I will just take some water just to make sure, and then I'll refill those. I'm learning yes. to get into good patterns here, folks, because otherwise you can suddenly find yourself without enough to keep you going. Of course. Okay. Okay. All right, then. All right good stuff. Look at that. I mean, just for a luminosity and um, the EMB preset, I think that's quite good. Might see if I can get a window shadow mod or something, maybe, if it's compatible. And then we can have a bit more lighting coming in the windows. That might be nice. I might actually just try Lux with that. Lux alone. Um, and see what we get with Lux. That could be interesting. I don't know if it's compatible with, with a luminosity, but I could see and try. Okay, so... Um,
what am I doing now? So, told you about that. Let's, um... Oh, I think I put his wind helm. No, did I? I can't remember. Did I load up J... Oh, it was... No, it was um, rifting. It, I, let's go and check rifting out now, okay? And we're going to check out... Yeah, I might test Lux with that nut, you know? I think I'm, that if might be an interesting... Crew, sons and daughters. I think that might be interesting to do that. All right, let's get down to Windhelm, right. folks. Tell them to head to Windhelm. We're head to Riften. Because I, I made some changes and corrections. Um, to the Guild City of Thieves. Um, and if it's still not good enough, I'm going to do some more edits for that, just for the mod pack. Because the Riften Guild City of Thieves does a hell of a lot in a small space. It is a big mod. Um, but it's never crashed on me or anything. It just takes a few frames, um, you know. So I just want to check the performance of that. And we're going to look at JK's Riften and see how they work together. As long as JK shouldn't be touching the city. I, I, I'm quite sure it's just an exterior mod. So there's, there should be no cro crossovers between my work and his. But we'll check that out. We get down to Riften and we'll check it out. And again, just, again, with Matthew's trip, um, 3D trees and plants, it, you know, everything, and really blended roads. It just looks so nice, all of this. Fort Peak up there, folks. Explore that at your leisure. TPS 2 AE. It leads to a player home called the House of Zell, if you don't know. Again, if you like the stream, hit that like button. Hit the notification bells and all the rest of it. I'd appreciate it, folks. Thank you. Where are they? I got him as well. That was a hell of a shot. <laughs> Shit. Oh, right in his face. Look at that, look. That's sometimes the downside of Matthew's 3D trees. Because he changes up the models, um, the meshes, sorry. And, and where these were once, you know, you could run through them, they become an obstacle. But it's, it's only a small thing. And what I've actually done with my... Because I'm actually running Matthew's 3D... Um, sorry, the reduced uh, patch for um, Matthew's 3D trees. My work to run with the TPSC um, series, and that always helps. Okay, let's, uh, and it doesn't require, the, the current one I'm running, I don't think requires um, you to have TPOSC loaded up. You know, you can just basically use it um, with any version, TPOS2 or TPOSC. Oh, sorry, what did I just do? Oh, I thought that was a, oh, that's one of my, this is one of my Skyrim's drunk follower. Sorry, mate, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just, <laughs> I thought he was an enemy for a minute. I'll just heal him up just so he doesn't attack me with a bit of luck. Where's the healing hands? There we go. Sorry about that, mate. So he's a drunk that um, travels between... Uh, I think it's... I think he travels from Nightgate Inn to Winterhold. That's one of my drunks. It's brilliant. I, I've got about five or six drunks in Skyrim. Um, from Skyrim's drunk. And it's really funny when you see them start flopping around, folks. So, so we are going to... Windhelm outpost. Um, sorry, the stables, and then on to what, look at JK's exterior for rifting. Okay, we got his white run exterior. I thought I'd try out his um, rifting exterior as well. We're doing all right for our needs at the moment. Everything's looking really nice. I'm not going to go too fast. Let's bring up my bow again, just in case of a need. A, you know. But this is looking really nice. Again, I've been editing the EMB preset set in suns. And this set in suns preset will come out. Yeah, they're fun. Will come out for this mod pack. It'll be separate. It'll be a separate EMB preset because I've edited some. I've, I've only actually made some very subtle changes, folks. I thought I'd just show you. I've, I've actually edited up some um, 
post pa uh, um, EMB effect and post pass, all right, in terms of um, what was it? The HDR. There's a couple of interior um, lighting uh, changes that I've made, uh, f and um, some other subtleties as well in some of the EMB uh, multiple weather files. But otherwise, I haven't done a great. Oh shit! Shit the bear! Oh no, is that the bit? No, no, I was thinking of Tipo C. <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not on my, so, I've been so used to that bear spawn for a moment and I thought I got caught out there. Oh, okay, we've got this, haven't we? I forgot the TPOS, TPOS 2 settlement. Forgot about this. So, you know, this is part of TPOS 2, of course. I'll let you explore that at your leisure. But let's just get down to, um, I'm getting cold. Ah, oh, damn. Um, what do I need to do? This is the first time I experience a sun helm in the cold. I'm going to save just in case. I know I need to keep warm, but at the moment, my I'm not too bad, I don't think. Okay, that's the map. I've just realised. I think I've just got to change something up a bit, but this looks nice. This is just the atmosphere here and the colour. And, and what I like is the blending between the background, the foreground, and the middle ground, folks, and, and the coloration as well, and the atmosphere. Now, maybe I'm being biased, but like I say, I think that all blends really nicely. The foreground, the middle ground, and the background. I think there's a nice depth of feel from the EMB that just really finishes it off nicely. I'm just going to come into first-person mode, because then we can get it to focus in and remove the, the depth of feel a bit more. But I think that's really nice. I like it. And again, if you like the stream, um, hit that like button and hit the bell if you want to see more folks. You know, two to three times a week, my next stream will be Wednesday. Because tomorrow I'm working on the all-in-one Hafingar mod. So I'm going back to building the Hafingar mod, which will be running in solitude, okay? So, look at this. Oh, I think I'm getting some hypothermia effects, folks. It's just dawned on me. I think I'm getting some hypothermia effects, aren't I? That's why this is. This seems like so much more. How do I work out what's going on? I just need to go into... Um, sorry, I just need to learn about this. I'm just going to go down to... Sunhelm. I think I did something. I think I made a mistake. That. I need to change this. Can't use H. Let's try... Come on. I am. What am I missing here? Just need to change this button up. I found this to be temperamental. This process. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Select a hotkey. Oh, I've got to unbind. Maybe that's it. T. Oh, come on. What am I doing? Okay, H should be. Let's just check H. Because. All right. What's that one? All right. So that gets rid of my. Um, that's good. That's that. So I know that. That's fine. Okay, all right. Worry about that later. I'm obviously suffering from the cold, I think, here, folks. Um, but, like, again, I say regardless, um, the environment itself looks really nice. So, let's see if I can get down to this. I think I need to move swiftly before I get too cold and can't move at all. I'm going to use... That's healing. That's stamina, I think. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to get indoors, folks. I think I'm starting to suffer from the effects of hypothermia.
what's one then? Okay, so three. All right, that's good. Let's use some potions to get there as fast as... Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I've just pressed the wrong damn button. Ah, oh, sorry, folks. I've just... I left um, Rinse and Wash, the J Spiro mod, um, on my Z button. And I was thinking I was doing something else there. Um, so <laughs> he's just having a wash there, in the middle of the road. <laughs> so he's going to freeze even more now, look. <laughs> Dear me, that's poor. Let's change that up straight away as soon as he's finished. Okay, that's terrible. Dear me, let's go to... That's what I want. Okay, let's just... Let's just find an interior now and warm up, all right? Oh, for God's sake. She took them out for me straight away. <laughs> well then, girl. Let's just... Which one was it? it was, okay, it was just that one, wasn't it? All right, All right okay. <laughs> right, so I think... Um, let's find out what I loaded up here. We're going to go to Morthor next. We're going to check out Morthor Ages, all right? I didn't load up... I don't think I... Lo I didn't load up JK's... Windhelm exterior. I meant to. I might try that one out as well. I haven't got my border holds loaded up at all, folks, because I've already got mods that clash with my border holds mods, so we won't be using that. Okay. And I took away my bridges as well, my bridge mod, so we'll have mods um, for that as we go down the line, possibly. Okay, so let's um, let's go to Morthor, because I can go That's straight to the inn. Soon. First time to Windham? I'd like to hire your carriage. Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. Where do you want to And go? then we'll check Riften. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's check Riften first. Need a ride? I've just realised. We'll check Riften first, I'd folks. like to hire your carriage. Then we go to Morthal. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Riften. That's where we're going to go. That's Riften. It. Climb and back and we'll be off. You might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Quite a few of them work the docks there, not sure why. They like swimming in the lake, maybe. <coughs> oh Christ, it's dark as hell. Let's, um... Let's use a torch. Oh, it's that's nice. Walk, eh? Lovely. Well, okay, right that's place. nice. Okay, so... Frames per second, holding it 59. Let's go into, what time of day is it? Three, okay. That is really nice. Ship me, that's nice. How do I get to the city? Oh, where am I? Okay, right. Okay, so let's just, actually, no, stuff it. Because it's nearly, um, let's just go through. Because uh, it's nearly morning already. And we can see JK stuff. Let's just come through. It's a moody morning. Very moody. All right, it's clearing. Okay, it's more like it. Yeah, sure it is. Let's do it. Do another hour. Okay. Let's see what performance we get on the frames. Let's check the area. Let's check out this mod. I think he goes around the back, doesn't he? Roar extend. All right, little touches here and there. Frames are holding good. That's good. But it is lightly modded, so it should. There's nothing of mine in in the in interior either, folks. All the cells are clear, so we should have no problems. That's lovely. Fuck me, that's nice. I really like that. Just the, the everything just looks so nicely coloured. So, you know, it's um, fucking good. A nice saturation. Sorry, is what I'm saying. Okay, let's go into the city then. And let's see how, if I've managed to improve the frames for, um, 
the Guild City of Thieves. It's you're going to lose some frames here. What I don't want to see, folks, is if there's fluctuations. That's that's okay. It's when those. It's if if the frame sticks, say at 45. I don't want to be seeing that. Before I let you into Riften, what's the tax? Not really, to pay you know. The visitors or the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? You're obviously a thief. Oh, I didn't mean to say I that. Kill thieves. <laughs> I think you'd be a little smarter than that. <laughs> this is obviously a shakedown, but I'll pay. <laughs> it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Let me open the gate. And we'll go to Morthor next and check out Morthor Ages after once we've checked out the Guild City of Thieves again, right? I'm, I'm not going to go all through the Guild again, all right? I just want to look, run round and and see if I've got a better performance because I did some nav mesh work in. Okay. I had another run in with a thief. I know, you know, I know this is a really heavy mod. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do for the mod pack. Trouble. I think what I'm gonna do is. Um, it's just ignore him. You can pretend not to hear me all you want. I think what I'm going to do is probably downsize this mod, folks. Um, because when you're running it with 4K textures and parallax as well, it's really heavy around here. Like I said, I've never had no crashes, and it's only when you come in to the center, and it does improve once you saved and come back to the cell. I think it's probably first time loading has a small effect, but look at this actually. It's well worth it. Look at the parallax textures here. I'm using Whiskey's parallax textures, you know, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little test, I think. I need to sleep anyway. What time of day is it? Okay, let's go into the inn. I think what I'm going to do is go into the inn, save. Um, we'll have a sleep. It's a bit brighter in here, folks. Got the coin? You're welcome here. Otherwise, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Come back and see us again. The signs that Lady Mara is. What's your problem? Your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kai. I'm going to go to about six o'clock, something like that. Just so we have had a good sleep. I'll get some food. I'll get fueled up, you know to keep Sunhelm or the survival needs uh, happy and um, and then we'll shift and do some more testing around oh what am I doing that's right that's okay we'll have a quick um, okay <laughs> not now okay oh god we've got a few level ups here sorry you're gonna get some Oh dear. That's the bow, because I used the bow. I used my cheap bow, so I leveled up very quickly. I've got cheat a cheap bow, cheap weapons, and some potions, folks. But I'm not cheating on anything else. In terms what I want is armor. I need some more protection. I need to have... I can't advance my light armor at the moment. Let's advance my sneak. S sneak. And we'll advance... Uh, Can advance one handed, let's do that. We will do some archery, I guess so I can do it. Don't really need to worry about it too much because, um, as I say, I've got a cheat bow, so it just helps me get through the testing quicker. And that's what I'm doing, folks. I'm testing all these mods to make sure everything works well together, you know. There's no anomalies, no crashes, so on and so forth. And once I've tested the other mods that we've I've I've loaded up so far, we'll add some more, and we'll start another new game, and, and so we'll we'll keep the process going. You know, look at the straw there. That's ruddy straw, okay. Um, and again, there's many ways into the being barred, okay. Enough, We've all heard of the dragon. So let's see. Um, now that oh, I should have got some food and water, shouldn't I? Just thought about that. Yeah, I've got to get some food and water. Let's go back in a minute. Oh, damn it. Sunhelm's turning out to be a right pain in the ass. This is all nav mesh, folks, so, so your followers do follow you. All right? So it's all nav meshed. I mean, it, like I say, Riften is a big mod, the Guild City of Thieves. Um, but for the few, it's the only area or only mod of mine 
that you'll lose lose some frames with in terms of you know like 10 frames because it's such a big mod but I don't mind that. A lot of people don't like it, but I don't Never mind. Done oh it. my God! Work in your life for all that you can go you. away as well. I can take a hint, lad. <laughs> Want to make some coin? Right. Let's get some yeah. food then. What's your problem? Let's have some water, and then I can uh, let's really hydrate, so I can get you off. Look like someone. You got the coin. You're welcome. So first things Otherwise, first. Hit the road. Of course. Good. Let's refill. Right now, let's get into the city and onto Morthor. All right. We'll check out Rorikstead. Uh, Rorikstead, sorry. Um, Kynesgrove. No. Morthor, sorry. Morthor Ages. God, dear me. Glad to see you finally came to Let's go have a center. drink, folks. Take a breath. See, the frames generally hold relatively steady. It's only when you look towards the center, look, when they drop, which is... Been looking oh. <laughs> That's something I'm which is sort of look. understandable, Your I guess, because it's the center of the city. Let's where most see. of the content I is, have you know. A letter here for you. Ah, a letter. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, oh, I've forgotten Riches the city. Beyond imagining, I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the village. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten okay. city. My Time of day. Went in a few days ago okay. Looking really turn. nice. Can't you bother let's me just let's just tomorrow. take a view over the city. I've got all these voices in my head from these NPCs. A real pain in the ass. Let's get out of it. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Some jewelry here. And and again, so we got Wizkid's Rifting, right? Parallaxed. And we got his um, particle lighting for the windows as well. Don't do Lod 3 Alpha. So obviously the Lods are too. Don't forget we're in the city. We're looking from inside the city. So that isn't too shabby. And we are TFCing in a stream. And still the frames are pretty bloody good considering I, I'm free camming with with the mod that I've got loaded here in, and um, all the particles and parallax and all the meshes and textures and everything as well so I think that's pretty damn good folks you know I'm not unhappy with that it's not going to be perfect in terms of frames um, I want uh, what I basically want from the mod pack is 60 frames pretty much across Skyrim there's a couple areas I can accept if I haven't got them um, there she is see she's catching up with me so it's all nav meshed there's only the only the very thin walkways aren't nav mesh folks in the guild city of thieves all right and of course you got secret hidey holes you know and lots of places you know i'll let you all explore that at your leisure okay so let's move on to um morthor then so i've got morthor ages loaded up and again it's a, it's a tpus um two mod which can be used with TPS2. Very different from the TPSC Morthor. It's made very differently. Again, I like the lighting from the lighting of when the, when he runs with the torch, it reflects his back, which I really like. I think that's a nice touch. Just take the torch off now. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourn. Okay. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thief's Guild. Need a ride? We, well, it's fluctuating a bit there. I'd like to hire your carriage. I can't seem to... That's interesting. I'm on this side, and we drop a few frames. Not by much. Just go around this side. My carriage is the safest way to travel. Hold on a sec, folks. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Okay, so we're going to Morthor. Okay. Morthor. Climb and back and we'll be off. Okay, let's check out then and see what sort of performance 
and what um, more Thor Ages looks like oh, with this mob pack. Okay, good stuff. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from From old Rorikstead. So I think I'll look, um, I'll <coughs> check. Um, what I'm saying is, we'll just go through, oh, well, I can sleep. Let's just go to the inn first. And then we'll look at how things are once we've slept. What's, What's the Jarl going to do about it? Oh, I think how I... No, 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 I didn't. That's cheaper. That's more for ages. Please. Okay. Please don't mind we'll just go to the inns, folks. I'm just going to sleep, all right? Because I need to do that with Sunhelm. What's going on? I th Oh, shit. I have loaded up another mod. Bollocks. I've double... Oh, I'm a dickhead. Oh, for God's sake. I've loaded up, um, I did load, oh, what's going on? Ah, <laughs> I did. Okay, right. Oh, bollocks, Nesbitt, you're a twat. Ah, hold on, folks. I'm just gonna, one's textures, and let's just go to, I must have loaded in another mod. I must have loaded in, um, City of the North mod, or one of the, one of his mods, um, one of, sorry, JP Steele's mods. Shouldn't do this, but we've got to... Let's just go to... Um, oh, you dickhead, Nesbit. Let's just disable that, because that won't be so bad. If I disable that, that won't be so bad as un uninstalling it. I don't think. I'm still going to have to start a new game anyway, but... Oh, what a dickhead. <laughs> All right, back in game. Stupid me. I should have checked that. I didn't think I loaded it up. I thought I'd thought I thought I'd you know thought against it and I hadn't loaded it in. Let's go back in game, folks. Sorry about that. Should have double checked. It happens. Okay. So what we need to do then is go back a save before we actually hit Morthor. So hopefully we can get away with that without you know without any issues with a bit of luck. Um, need to delete that. Where am I there? Let's go load this game. Let's, where was this? Ow. Yes, well, got no choice. Bollocks. What a div. What a dumbass. Okay. Where am I? Good, okay, that's not so bad. Okay, so we get a drop there, so have a look at that. Let's, um... I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? We're going to Morthal. Morthal. Climb and back and we'll be off. Right, we'll just save at this point. All right, just so. Right, okay. Oh, steady on. That was a stupid thing to do. Uh, it's not the end of the world. We got, we got a lot of work to do for this mob pack, folks. So, you know, um, that's just the sort of thing. Never run two mods in the same area. When I see people do that, I don't get it. I do not understand the logic, uh, how people think in any way that could be, you know, productive for their for their load order. Now this looks better. <laughs> okay, all right, it feels better. Okay, right. So the frames are good. Let's just sleep. Okay, I'll feed up, and then we'll check all this out. Okay, let's look at the lin. Okay, some nice shadowing. Um, it's dark, it's night time. It'll get brighter once once I've slept and I come into the day. Where is she? She normally loiters. Where is she? I can't see her for the life of me. I don't mind it like that, actually. It's good. It's nice and dark. Where's What am I thinking about? What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about... Let's give that a... Let's do four for that. Okay. Oh, well, there she is. All right, okay. I don't need the torch, really. It's not that bad. Welcome to the Moor side. If you need anything, I'll be around. I'd like Good to rent to a room. Customer. Okay, so sure it is thing. night, folks. So it is darker in the inn, all right? This is the darkest inn we've been to so far, okay? The rest have been really well lit. Where's the bed? Where is it? Is it over? Out the way, you stupid follower. Oh, God's sake. Yeah, it's over here. Ah, someone's there. Oh, that's owned, all right. Long bed. All right. Roundy round. Let's move through to the morning. Oh. What's going on? Oh, he is in the bed. 
That guy is in the bed. Okay, let's get him out of my bed. He's sleeping in my bed, I think. A new face. Such a welcome sight in dreary old Now that is old. Welcome, friend. Alright, let's put the torch on. So I can see welcome. what the Oh, I didn't oh, oh, I don't think I did I? What's going on? Much to offer, but if I'd you like want to rent a room. To spend the okay. night, I'll rent you a room. I'm gonna Are you joking? You just rented a yeah, room. Yeah, I me. thought I did. So what's good? Okay, so let's get my torch. Until next time. Now, I haven't edited this in, folks, of course, because I've got no in-edits. I've got none of my work. So, what is going on with that bed? Now, this is interesting. That's owned. So, I haven't... So, there's no. There's nothing to do with... That's owned. But I just bought the... What the fuck? Well, if anyone knows what's going on here, or any mod... If, they've ever come across, if you've ever come across this, folks, let me know. Because there's no edits from TPS2. I haven't got my ins loaded up, all right? So why can't I... What, is this... Has it got something to do with sun helmets, like? Or am I just being thick? Let's just move through to the morning. Let's just get the NPCs out of their route... On, the, on with their routines. <coughs> it's got lighter now because it isn't obviously night. So it's much brighter in the inn. Let's just... What's going on? I've rented a room. I can't. No. Nope. There's no other beds in the inn. And why is she just stood there all the time? I will check my TPS2 mod and make sure I haven't left a cell in the mod, but I know I haven't because I was very thorough when I removed them. So there is a conflict here. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. All right, room. let's just have some food for now. Let's just um, let's just have some water, folks. All right. Let's just have some water. Um, work on that. I don't know what's going on there? I ain't got a clue what's going on there. Let's now Running feed up. My plan, but Follian decided to move here, so I joined him. Of course. Of course. Brilliant. Okay, so at least now we can go out into the world. I might be a little bit tired, but all right then. I'll just have a. F just have a bit more. F there you go. I needed a bit more food. I was hungry still. So anyway, this is um as I said, luminosity, with the TPOS um setting sun ZMB preset, and that's all I've got. And that's has been the darkest of the interiors so far. But everywhere else has been really nice with some nice um. Flickering and it's early morning. It's only 904. So all these I I like actually um, The particle settings. This is these are really bright um, And then we've got the fluffy snow walkway as well with the project diffuse file that I've already talked about So let's check out more Thor ages then Let's look at the frames because I do f I'm, I'm in stream as well. So I'm gonna lose a few more frames. Don't forget that I will test all this locally but um, everyone's pathing nicely, so that's good. There's a lovely effect there look, on that fat, off that um, bra brazier on the water. That's really nice. Um, and the walkway's nice. No painted crappy snow look. We've got a, like a fresh falling snow look, so that's nice. That's really good. We've got some lovely lanterns. Okay, we go round. What sort of sun? Well, it's a bit moody. We got a player, two player homes here. The house of Elian, all right? That's a player home. And we got a vampire player home in Morthor Ages, okay? Requires key. We can get the key here. It's a simple TPOS player home, all right? It's not, it's not um, complicated. It just gives you somewhere to rest up and store. But look at that. I just like the atmospheric feeling of this area, folks. Again, if you, if you do like what you see and you like my streams, um, hit the um like button hit the bell join me again this is quite nice for the basic lighting templates that we got i think i am going to try lux folks i think i might try to throw lux in the mix and see what i get if i can because if i could have some lights coming in the window there i could edit and add more and really do something with this there's there's potential here that i think i can manipulate and, and use in a real good way definitely So that's the first player, sh player home in Morthor Ages. 
if and if you guys and girls like it we'll keep it if not i am open to probably changing it up and giving you another mod um you know we'll see and i must add some snow to these walkways or potentially use a snowy walkway now to work with this so i think i'll do that for more thor ages i'll do it in the patch actually i'll make it in the all-in-one patch look at that deer look how he runs i'm so proud of this is a great bit of nav mesh work around here folks um even if you get four or five npcs along here they don't bounce off the bridge it's all nicely nav meshed and edged off and everything and um they're all path past each other without no anomalies the other, the other player home is just back here, okay? And I'll let you explore this vampire home at your leisure. Okay? And it's got a backstory, and it'll be quest-driven in the future. Okay, so we do... We are seeing a big drop of frames there. Um, <coughs> I'll test this when I'm out of stream, because um, we are raining now, and we have the... Uh, that takes a few more frames with Victor. Um, Victor's EMB preset. But otherwise, that's not too bad. Again, you know, all my work is in the vanilla style. Um, I do do forts in other big builds, you know, like, for example, you've got um, the Way of the Dwemer in Markarth and all the rest of it. Um, and I had border holds in some of my other mods, so it's not all farmhouses and stuff like that. Um, my work is varied, but th the towns and cities I generally keep quite simple because for most of my work, you've got add-on modules that you can stick onto the outskirts and stuff like that. So that's why I keep the actual cities fairly light. So, so what else? Um, what time is it? One thirty-two. And again, we might have some anomalies in performance because I had Cities of the North loaded up as well. And that's not good. So I'm going to have to start a new game <laughs> and catch up to where I am in game for Wednesday, folks. So I might add a few more mods. So if you want to give me some suggestions for towns and cities, do it now, all right? I'm really open to your suggestions. If you want me to run... Um, we haven't... Rorik said it's free. Um, you know other wild locations other mods for wild locations um if you've got any you'd like to see let me know i'll add them in um mm. god i'm spinning me drink like a like an old fart um you know so if you want uh let's think um raw extends free um there's other locations as well i can't think for the life of me at the moment my brain's gone totally blank my mother and father died years Windhelm ago. is free. Okay, um, Windhelm town, or the, the city in the exterior. Um, we do Windhelm as well. Um, for now, we could even load up some mods for Solitude until the Hafengar all-in-one is done. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any mods you'd like to see, let me know, all right? And, and let me know now, and I'll add them before the next stream or... Post your requests on the Discord. And there could be other mods that you want to see as well. Not just town and city mods, but other mods that you want to see. If they're compatible with TPOS 2 and they're not, there's not too much work, then I'll, then I'll add them into the pack, all right, for the next stream. And the next stream will be Wednesday. Okay, so first we come out of the city here. There's just a few small walls and touches. Uh... We've got nothing at Dragon Bridge at the moment either. So there's nothing at Dragon Bridge either. So I think, what time is it? I'll tell you what I want to do. We're going to go to White Run, and I'm going to look at that um, other author's mod. Uh, where am I going? We're going to go on down to Hollingbrew Meadery. And we're just going to travel down this road because um, I've got another mod that I want to check out that's near my market store. Sorry, my market outpost. What time of day is it? I'm hungry. I need to sleep. Let's just fulfill. I'm just going to do that and this. 
that should really do it. Yep, okay. What time of day is it? Okay. Um, let's just go through. We're not going to worry about it too much. Because I'm, I'm going to finish the stream in a minute, folks. I just want to check, okay, my market store, okay, which is just past the um, CC content here, the house, the player home. And then we're going to look at the mod author's... Um, I can't remember his name. He does all the brain like a sieve. He's, he's in the actual thumbnail. What's his name? I can't remember his name. You'll see it in a minute. You'll know him, I'm sure. Let's just get on down here. Let's just throw some light in so you can see what it's like when he's running. He's manic there. He's going roundy roundy. <laughs> Let's try some... Um, Let's try some, is it that one? Yeah, okay. We'll try some magic, see what candlelight looks like at this particular time of day. As we head down now towards my, we've got about 50, it's quite a heavy load around here, but again, it's raining. And when it rains with the EMB preset, it does use a little bit more. Um, also, I've got higher grass settings in the stream as well, folks. That's why you're seeing more grass than usual within my streams. Because I thought I'd um, really try to make this mob pack more to what I know other people's preferences are, rather than mine. Okay, because even though this is, I am running TPS um, 2 and a lot of my work, I'm still running many other mods and I'm, I've got, you know, I'm you know, like I say, many, using many immersive mods for other people's preferences that they've said they wanted to see. So this mod pack will be more about what you want than what I want. Oh, this is nice. Now, again, you see, bear, take in mind what I'm just running here. Um, luminosity and the EMB preset setting suns. And I think that's pretty damn nice. What time is it? Let's just get something off this guy before it... I wonder if I can sleep here if there's a bed yes. here. What have you got for sale? And again, hit that Take like button, folks, if you like the stream. I'd appreciate it. That will help. Let's get some food. Okay. Um, good day. Good day. I love those oysters. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at the quality there of what the do you need? textures and the lighting in here. This is nice. Now, this is my uh, market store, of course. Uh, the um, guy trades from eight to eight, obviously. Then he goes to his house, which is just outside of the market. Yes. Oh, this girl trades as well. Huh? Let's see what, what have you got, got for sale? Take a look. Don't really want anything there. Aye. Aye. Okay. And again, every aspect of to the TPOSC mod pack, or sorry, every aspect of the TPOS 2 AE mod is nav meshed. All my mods fully nav meshed. That's the followers kept up throughout this whole, whole stream. We've had no issues with our follower at all, which is good. That's including the mods we've added to the stream. And that's even better. And I tested them all in. Um, oh, shit. Now, there's a tower. Um, let's just go through to the morning. Sorry, so you can see, folks. We've got some better light, all right? Some be a better light, sorry. Just before I finish off, we've got um, Edar Tower coming up, which is next to the settlement. Okay, we might have a real nice sunset. I think a sunrise, sorry. I think we're going to get... I think we are, we know. We might get a real nice sunrise. I'm chilly. I'm feeling peckish. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. <laughs> Tough shit. Okay, right. Let's just finish this stream off. Oh, here we go. Uh, we've got our orange sunset here. Now, the picture sky meshes do weaken my sunsets a little bit. But actually, I think it makes them a little bit subtle, more subtle. And I think it's um, the payoff is worth it. Okay, so we've got my Edda Tower. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, my scroll box is playing up on me in the comments section. So I'm just going to save, come out, and sort that out, folks. Bear with me a sec. 
bloody scroll box pisses me off, I tell you. Okay, so, folks, right, we've got Edda Tower, all right? That's that. Now, watch as we approach it. Watch. I did this. I did this with a purpose, all right? Let's just take out this damn. Where is my shield? All right, we've got a shield now, all right? Watch the tower as we approach it. You might have just seen a little flash of flame. That was just to give any observant adventurer a warning. I'm not going to spoil it for you, all right? But what I did was, for Xbox users... Um, all right. What I did for Xbox users, right? Let's just go through so we can see, all right? I'm going to jump forward. Let's just have some food. I can have that, look. So I don't have to pull up those sounds. Oh, wrong one. Um... Okay, let me just uh, start again, folks. So we've got this author's mods. can't remember the author's name. I've only just really started using him, so I'm getting acquainted. So there's no anomalies of pathing or any um, issues with the Edda Tower because what I did was, for Xbox users, um, and I haven't uploaded to... I haven't updated the PC file yet. All right, so Nexus users... Um, we'll have landscape issues if they try using my mod and this mod together, all right? Um, I will update soon, folks. But I've loaded this guy's um, mods in. We've got three or four of his mods, and we've seen most of them in stream, okay? And as you can see, all the NPCs are pathing and doing as they should, be, should do. I removed my landscape and nav mesh changes, and I just placed a collision in here. NATO! Hi, NATO! Yeah, that is. That's the author's name. The Shiz... I can't... The, the Shiz Tazor's work, or whatever his name is. Sorry, my pronunciation is crap. All right, I've never been very good with pronunciation. You'll have to forgive me, folks. So I just added a set of steps instead of changing the landscape to the tower, and I put a collision around the tower. Um, so, it, you know, and that was... Okay. Uh, nice to see you, mate. Um... So, yeah, so we've got three or four of his mods, and we've seen them all now. So, um, so I've added those to the game. I've added um, JKs to the game, folks, some of his exteriors. Uh, we've got... Si oh, let's just go to Folkreath. I did say I was going to stop, but let's just go to Folkreath, and we'll check out um, the City of the North... Um, JP Steele's mod, sorry. Let's just go to White Run Stable, all right? And that's the last one. And then I'll stop in the inn because I need to sleep and eat and all that. And we'll come back to that on Tuesday. <sighs> on Wednesday, sorry. I'm feeling very weary, I know. I know. Okay. I wonder what happens if I keep going. Does he fall Peter asleep Ryan, on the road or something? Take you to the whole capitals. <laughs> I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Let's say Folkreath. And we'll just check Folk out Folkreath. And we should and we'll have the one mod there, <laughs> if I've done my job right. <laughs> okay. Um, and that will be uh, J.P. Steele's um, Cities of the, City of the North, the, the Folkreath mod. Very nice mod. I love the horns and everything that he's got there. It's been a long time since I've used it. So, um, <coughs> here we go. Let's just check this out. <coughs> check the frames. Did you see a oh. dog out there? No, some wolves, but no dogs. Okay. Oh, well. Thanks for the lights, by the way, the folks. Is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was and thanks for sharing your time with me as well, because it helps my you channel grow, and um, clean, it gives me incentive outside. to, you know, just keep working hard and doing all this stuff. But actually, 55, that's not too bad. The dawn God. I will Emperor. check that there's no conflicts the between near-adjacent cells to... Um, um, JP's, um, because like I say, TPSC does, um, sorry, TPS2, big pardon, A does do a lot, okay? And I might have left some cells near his mod, or I just need to ma make some small adjustments to blend everything together. But again, it is early stages of the mod pack, and I will do all these within the all in one patch for, for all of this that we're doing. So it'll run smooth as butter by the time's up to, by the time I'm done. All right, I promise you, it will be running smooth as butter. 
And if I can't fix something up, I'll remove it and I'll try something else. Short okay, so I'm going to sleep quickly. Now, who's... where? Who? Ah. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. First thing I want to do, I want to rent a room. I'd like to rent a room. And I need... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And I would suggest, folks, that we might have saw the error at Morthor. Right this way. Um, because I had um, that city of the north loaded up. Or whatever. Is it here? No, it's not here. Where is she going? Where am I going to sleep? Where is it? Where do I go to sleep? Down with Ulfric. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, on only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. Must be up here, isn't it? Oh, round here? All right. Oh, we can sleep here. So I suggest the anomaly we had in Morthor Inn, folks, is because I was stupid and I loaded up um, the City of the Nob mod, the City of the North mod, JP Steel's mod, with Morthor Ages. So that's probably why that didn't work. So I'm going to have to start a new game in my own time, locally, and, and, and make sure that everything works right, all right? But I will do that in my own time, and I'll come back and report in the next stream, all right? <coughs> all right, let's just do another... Let me know. Let's just do, do another couple of hours. Okay. Anything else you need? What time is it? Yeah, definitely going to finish in a... <gasps> oh, oh, God, in a sec. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. But this you hear any? I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. Of course. That's good. Of course. Good. Now I need to hydrate. Oh, get lost. Of course. Okay. I'll be right here if you need anything All right, anything that's all else. good. Let's just... Check my water situation. Okay, good. Right, so now that we've done that then, let's just look at the city in the daytime because it's lovely. Let's see if we've got a nice sunrise because I, I, I do like this mod. I do like, oh, you know. Um, okay, right. And again, you know, um, I will allow for a few frames for performance because we are in stream. Oh, fuck me. Sorry about my language, folks. It's pissing raining. Let's see if we can... Ah, God's sake. <clears throat> Alright, let's just come down. This is the touch I like the most. I love this little touch. Just the simple things. For I just love what he did with this little area here. This is beautiful. We have got some frames drop here, so... Um, yeah, let's warm up. By here. And we've got Minty's lighting kicking in as well all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to save at this point folks and i'm going to check all this out of stream okay and and i'll do any patchwork that needs i uh, needs to be done to help with performance and we're really getting into this build now slow but sure i am going to go now because i need to eat because i have had no lunch today so um so i'm going to leave it there folks no um, NATO, so nice to see both of you and, and whether it's Jack or anyone else that's normally around or if you're new, um, if you like the streams, hit the like button, subscribe, donate to the projects. I do this through to full time if you can, if you want to. I'd appreciate that, folks, because I do need new patrons. Um, you know, I'm always looking for new support. Keep me going. Um, and again, to Jack, thanks so much for everything you do, mate, and that you've done recently. Um, I've got to give you an extra special thumbs up um because you know it's been very tight here so your extra help obviously makes a big difference nato your donation and your help and, and the time that you share with me really appreciate it not your comments and your enthusiasm i love that too um whether you're secret lemonade drinker or strictly or anyone uh, graham or, or people that haven't been around for a while whoever um thanks for your support in the past in the present and the, if you support me in the future i appreciate it I'll see you all Wednesday, okay? Take care, NATO. I'll be back Wednesday, folks, because tomorrow I'm building the all-in-one Hafengar mod, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Building, streaming, building, streaming. And when the Hafengar mod is, is far enough, I'll add it to the streams, all right? When it's far enough in. So, I'm Nesbit. You're the people of Skyrim. Good gaming, folks. I'll see you Wednesday, and take care.